What is up, Cog Squad? Guess what? The quail are gone. What's up, y'all? Jason over here at Cog Kill Farm, and in today's video, we are well, actually, we got our good friends over there at JK Quail Farm. They're coming to get quail from us today. We've had, we got about 1,400 in the hatcher. This hatching out that they're gonna pick up today. And the ones we got in a brooder, they're gonna get a mess of them today. Save us some, we wanna keep some. They said they got a little surprise for us, so we'll go see what's going on. And in the meantime, we gotta go do farm chores, see what everybody's up to today. I gotta check out what Peach's honeydew list looks like. And you know, I gotta check that off so I don't get fired. And got a good little bit of stuff to do today here on the farm. So y'all come on with us. Hey, Peaches, you wanna ride shotgun? Come on, get in the truck. The last thing I need to do is run over you. <laughs> Let's see here. Get you guys. We like to add a little corn to our feed mainly because it just keeps the ducks and geese satisfied. Just tends to hold them better, at least for us. Don't throw this bag on your back now. I need some help. You think Foxy can get it? That's gonna go in the new coop. Okay. Tom Tom! What's up, buddy? You think you can pour it without him knocking out of your hand? Good deal, Lucille. Alright, let's uh let's go feed your chickens. I'm gonna drive the truck down there. You gonna walk or you gonna ride? Ride with it. Oh, hang on tight when you get up here. It is a still wet mess here. My garden plans have been postponed a pretty good little bit. Whew. I'm worried about my garlic and my shallots. They're in pretty pretty good wetness. I really can't work the soil at all been unable to plant my potatoes and it's getting pretty late but it's all good i can't control it i can't stop it all i can do is the best i can and that's what we gonna do so we know that your chickens have been laying in these nesting boxes like crazy right you got a dozen and a half yesterday and uh we'll come back and you tell everybody what we got going on in here and all your new chicks and the really cool ones we just hatched mm -hmm. but let's get these feeders filled up first Sweet. Hold on, and we generally like pellets for the chickens laying pellets but our feed store was out so we got crumbles today they just tend to waste crumbles more so than they do the pellets JP's beautiful, and I think your chickens are gonna love their new little mix up here. What's up, JP? <laughs> What's up, Astro? Got any babies? Got a bunch of eggs. No babies yet. <laughs> First of all, check out Mrs. Kyle Hill's little swank top she got going on here. That's some old wood floor that we tore up and some chicken wire. Boy, she got it going on over here. All right, so let's see what we got. Can you take off the light? Yeah, I'll, I'll take I off the light. Yeah, no. Let's not try to look. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna shut this door yeah. just in case someone jump out. All right. Now I most of these we hatched, but the the Americanas, right? Yeah. I have. How many Americanas did you get? I have four Americanas. Four Americanas. There's three brown ones yeah. and one a nude colored one. It's that one out there. Kind of lavender and white brown. Yeah. This one. That's the lavender and brown one. And white. And these, if you I don't mean, know, if you don't know Americanas lay the colored eggs. Yeah. Green, pink, blue, that kind of thing. So, all right, what else we got? Now, the rest of them we hatched. Yeah, I don't know what that is. We just hatched it. Yeah, a lot of them are mixed. Yeah, there's a bunch of mixed ones. All right, this one right here. Yeah, that's a mosaic. There's one that looks like a mosaic, but I don't know what it is. You know what it is? This one right here is a mosaic chicken. Okay, buddy. And these are kind of rare, and they're super cool looking. They got neat, like electric blue ears. But the mosaics are super cool. All right, I'll let you back in there. And we bought those off eBay. And we got a dozen hatching eggs. And I think only four hatched. Which, honestly, when you buy hatching eggs off the internet, you know, it's a gamble. And most of the time, it's not the person's fault that sends them. It's just they've been in the mail. You don't know what that carrier's done. They may have been thrown around. You know, it's so... It's a roll of the dice when it comes to buying hatching eggs off the internet. I mean, but sometimes you'll get some and you have a great rate. Sometimes you don't. It just, just is what it is. I was, we once have got 12 cold duck eggs we ordered. Yeah. And only one of them had. The black naked neck. Yeah, I have two of those. I got this one that yeah. about 10 days ago. Now, the, the rooster over there with Mary Carl's chickens is Emu, who is a showgirl, which is a neck and neck and silky mix. So that's the daddy of these. Now these are solid black, so they're cool looking. Yeah. So who knows who the mama is and the daddy is. It could be a Swartana, or it could be just the black skin, cause Emu's got black skin. Yeah, or it so, could be like a Astrid baby. It could have like a little tuft to Emu. Yeah. It looks kind of funky looking. They do look cool. really, really funky looking. I mean, that's a funky looking chicken. And then... <laughs> JP is trying to lay an egg, so she's very vocal. <laughs> this is JP's baby. This is JP's baby. It's an emu JP. And you hatched it, we hatched it too. Yep. Cool. Are you laying an egg? She's going to hold JP. Maybe that'll keep her quiet. <laughs> And the chickens have just been laying in this nesting box like crazy. It's yeah. been so awesome. Show them that egg that Moran just laid. It's so cool. And show it compared to like a neck and neck egg. That's a neck and neck egg. Awesome. Some sort of egg. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's hard to say. Yeah. It might be a neck and neck. Some of them laid darker eggs. That's a neck and neck. All right, girls. We're going to leave y'all alone. <laughs> And we got more chores we gotta do. And then they'll start hollering and... All these waters are okay, right? Yeah, we just fill that one up. I gotta fill these up out here, though. Okay, want me to take JP? Yeah. Oh, you can't do it that way, though, baby. Hey, JP. Are there, is there water okay in there, Coop? Let's see here. I think all these are okay, though. Yeah. All these waters okay. Mom must be filling these up. Yeah, Mom, Mom filled them up yesterday. Okay. I'm gonna fill this bucket up. It's empty. Okay, we'll get those. All right, let me get Mary Carl's baby's waters. chicken clock up. Okay. Show me where you want it. So your chickens can know what time it is. Can you come in? Come on, Thomas. Come on, Thomas. 
Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Mary Crawl's got her a little chicken clock in here for her chickens. All right. Y'all got the, you got the time set on it? Yeah, mom got it. You want it in the middle? How about on this wall? Look over here. Oh, yeah. Don't that look good over there? It'll be easier to get there anyway. Yeah. Yeah, somewhere right in there. That's what I say. There you go. Okay. Perfect. Now you can lay an egg and a clean vegetable box. You have your phone? Yeah. I can't on. Okay. Here. Can you oh see yeah. anything? That's good. Is it, is it good? Oh yeah, that's a good one. All right. Oh, you can Hi, candle them all? You can make her mad, ain't you? That's a good one, ain't it? That's a JP egg. Alright. I'm candle. That's JP eggs. That one ain't no good. No. There you go. See you how solid? You can see veins. Yeah. See that one? Alright, now show them one that's not it's good. It's pecking. You see it pecking? I think so. Yep. That's what I'm going to be hatching. You'll be happy catching soon. Now show them one that's not fertile. That's good. This one, it's just clear. See how clear it is? There's nothing there. So that's mm -hmm. the difference. All right, let me go finish filling these guys' waters up. Here you go. Okay. So she's got nine eggs. Mm -hmm. Two of them are not fertile. Yeah. Y'all look at my dog, Sunshine, over here. Laid out. Got her a little hole dug in this sand. Three or four days with no rain. I think it's three days. So stuff's starting to dry out a little bit. Hopefully the guy can come in here and start doing his thing soon. Ain't that right, Peach? I bet you can run a bulldozer. Huh? You know how to run a bulldozer? I bet you do. Give these goats some hay before they fire me. And right when I'm fixing to go fill the hay feeders up, the guys at JK Farm just showed up to get the quail. Okay. Since the quail are gone, we're gonna go ahead and um, clean out our hatcher and our incubator. It just gets this quail dust in it. You can see it right here. And it's just everywhere. It's like the little feather fuzz. And I've, I've wiped a good bit of it out. This thing was loaded with it, but just wanna get all this out, especially in the heat and element area. Definitely don't want no fire. 
All right, got it cleaned out. This is what we gotta do. We got another mess of eggs. We gotta put back in this booger. Let me tell y'all something, this GQF incubator and that hatcher, they are some egg hatching machines. Got this bad boy loaded up, so in about 23 days, we'll have another hatching. All right, now, this thing should be up to temperature by the time I get back. Let's go get the new turkey eggs. We are hoping that... Well, hello, beautiful couple. Scott, Ozella, looking quite lovely today, I must say. Scott. We might have some more, might have some more turkeys. Peaches, peaches, peaches. Peaches, look at your face. Look at it. What in the world, what have you been doing? Huh? What have you been doing? Look at you. My gracious, peaches. Look at all that dirt. Good gracious alive. I got Thanksgiving. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at him looking at me. Who, Thomas? Yeah. Thomas may not want any more turkey. We finna find out, bro. Oh, they're taking for a turkey egg today. I ain't got that far yet. I got to call that up. Man, call up. He probably does. I hold my eggs for you. Dude, what? She asked me if we were wanting a certain color. I said, well, what you got? She said, I got white, black, and white, black, brown, and red. And I said, take it a surprise. So who knows what these are? <laughs> Yeah, we're pressure washing the deck and moving stuff around, so we're gonna stain the deck here directly. Yeah, don't knock me down. Don't knock me down. Look what I got! Turkey eggs! You wanna put them in? Yeah. Let me write the date on them. Okay, write the date on them. You want me to write it on the calendar? Uh, gonna, I'm gonna write it in here. How long does it take for a turkey egg, Tom? Let's see. Um, pork turkey eggs. What do you think? Mom, what do you think? I think 28. 28. I'm going to say 26. What do you say, Mary Carl? 24. 24. 28. Yay! Mama was right. <laughs> you know they know I was a turkey expert. Well, we didn't know you was a turkey expert. You know what? What? She used to be a turkey, but she lost her strut. Thank you, JK Farm, for the awesome turkey eggs. Yes, yeah, so they need Trev. 13. 13. 13. 13 turkey. Go, Scott. It's your birthday. Who's he showing off to? Ain't no telling. Hey guys, if you happen to miss any of our quail videos, check out this playlist right over here. I put them all right over there for you. Also, I put another video down here, which I think you may like. If you're new to the channel, like what you see, hit that subscribe button right over here. And if you're interested in any cock eel farm gear like this cock squad shirt, check out that link down below. I and mean, as always, y'all be good.